Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I previously made a video about doing UI design on the iPad Pro. And I was, I was trying to use Figma through the browser, Framer X, also another browser based um, design software, and um, Webflow um, to, to basically do UI design on the iPad Pro. Now, one of the people who watched the videos recommended to me that there's actually an app within um, iOS, so actually in the App Store called Figurative, which basically allows you to use Figma, which basically allows you to use Figma in its full version with um, without the problems we found in the previous video I, I made, which I will actually link below if you, if you want to see what the problems were. Um, another thing which has come to light to me is that actually you can use Figma a little bit better in Chrome than I actually demonstrated but it still has issues in terms of zooming in and zooming out but for this video I'm going to go through figurative which is this app here and how well it works or not in the iPad Pro so let's let's do this so I'm just gonna for example purposes this is a project I'm, I was working on and I'm working on and I'm just going to go through some of the things I'll need or you would need to do in Figma for example so first I want to test this can you zoom in it seems like a simple thing but it failed in the other um, the other um, Figma test we did previously so I also for full disclosure I'm using the magic keyboard uh, for the iPad Pro so it does have a trackpad and that's what I'm using now to zoom in and zoom out so yep that works pinch to zoom and pinch to zoom out works simple thing but it's definitely something we need now can you go left and right yes you can just use the trackpad left and right that works perfectly up and down that works perfectly uh, we had some issues well i used to have some issues selecting objects so if it's selected it tells you which um layer it is that works perfectly now these all seem like simple things but they have um previously failed in other uh, versions of this so this looks good that everything is grouped as it should be see these aren't in the group so let's see if we group them i just select that is it command g yep command g works when i tried this previously uh with um, another version of well when i tried this with figma on the i think it was safari the keyboard shortcuts were actually using Windows keyboard shortcuts. So this works as it should. Command G is what I expected and that's what I have. So I can just do shift command G that should ungroup it and it does. That works perfectly well. Let's see. Now if I want to export an image. So this is a, a background image here. So let's test the exporting. So as you can see I can just take this image and just export it. So I should, if you want to save it in your camera roll, it has to be a JPEG, I think, but you can just export it and then just save it as an image. And then if you go here, you'll see it right here. That's pretty simple. That, and that works very well. Um, no issues there. Um, you can, of course, export it as an SVG um, but it wouldn't go to your camera roll. Okay, so let's see. What else would we need to do? Okay, let's test out the, if we can, the presentation mode, right? I wouldn't necessarily say anybody should be presenting with the iPad because we know the problems it has with the external display support, which unfortunately wasn't announced in WWDC, so we're still gonna have to live with the flat bars. Uh, on the side of the external display and so if we click present let's see what happens okay so there's issues already <laughs> um okay so this isn't correct it's not even centered let's see if we go to options uh so let's fit okay that's not what we want because even though now you can see it i mean, I mean you can see the whole screen but you can't actually uh tell what's going on so let's try, okay, that didn't work either, fill scale, nope, so 
Okay, so this gets everything into the page. But this is a problem because we can't actually see the rest. Um, so that doesn't work super well. It looks like presentation mode, even though you should be pretending on this iPad anyway, doesn't work well. So if you don't, if you need to present, then don't use the iPad Pro, but without, if you don't need to present, then this looks pretty strong to me. Um, I'm just thinking what else we just don't need to be able to do. So if I press R, you can create rectangles. Yeah, this works exactly as the Mac version or basically how the full version of Figma works. So this for me is basically smooth experience. You can see now it's like there's no slowdown. It's completely smooth. Um, it's, a, it's a bit weird that Figma as a company haven't made this, but uh, I mean, either way, it works. And I honestly think you can use this as your main computer to create design work. And uh, I really, I do think it's actually possible now. Um, bar being able to present, which I don't think you should present this way anyway. And most people don't. They will actually export the designs and find some other way to present. So I don't think that's a deal breaker at all. So yeah, I think this is a very, very good uh, choice and it makes designing on the iPad Pro very viable. Um, the only thing we're missing, of course, is that external display, which has nothing to do with Figma, of course, or this company. So yeah, uh, for me, this is a thumbs up. Um, I didn't really expect it, uh, especially because it's just in the app store, it's completely free. So yeah, I mean, if you need to use Figma for UI design, UX design, product design, you have it, figurative. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, also, if you wanna see more videos, please subscribe. I wanna do a giveaway when I get to a thousand subscribers, but of course that's a long way away. So please help me out, please subscribe, and peace.